what I will go through to make a video for you guys. This is KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts, and I'm not sure what my neighbor thinks watching me stare at a camera on the roof, but I have a part two by viewer request of this handheld antenna by Diamond. This is the SRH770S, and they said, you know, it looks like it'll give you a little more receive and stuff through repeater, but why don't you check that simplex from another station? And we're gonna do that. In fact, I'm gonna be on the roof though, because we're gonna try to go about 20 something miles to Jim's house, which is south southwest. And I'm gonna see if he can hear me on simplex and what his receive signal is um, before and after. And we'll try to see what mine is here on this end. So on the roof to give me a little more height, let's try it out. This is stock antenna. KJ, uh, W2JKD from KJ4YZI. There you go, much better, uh, Eric. I'm able to uh, copy you with uh, no problem. So, uh, go ahead. Okay, Jim, uh, just to give you an idea, I am on my roof and there's a camera staring at me on the roof to do this video, over. <laughs> well, I can't believe you're on your roof. Okay, well, uh, I know you're on your, uh, your handheld, I assume. Uh, is that a 5-watt handheld? Go ahead. Roger, this is uh, the Asu FT2D, the only handheld I really have anymore. Um, you are an S4, and I'm hoping the mic picks up your audio. Uh, do I have any signal down there in Vero? Over. Okay. Uh, again, uh, it's a marginal signal for me. Uh, it's not enough to uh, move the S meter, but I, I'm hoping for your end of things that it's enough to give you a different th uh, differentiation. Uh, when you think about it, I'm running uh, 50 watts, you're running 5, and so in terms of dBs, let's see, that would be every 3 dBs is double the power, so that would be uh, 3 dBs is 10 watts, uh, uh, 6 dBs is uh, 20 watts, 9 dBs is 40 watts, so uh, yeah, in basic terms, you're, uh, you're about uh, broadcasting 10 dBs less than I am, so not surprised that you're not up against the day with me, go ahead. Okay, 10-4. Well, this is, uh, we're going to switch right now, so stand by. I'm going to hold this position and switch to the diamond here. Ready? Uh, move your rig just a little bit. Uh, let me see if I can get, uh, get that Watch. clear. Go ahead. All right, we'll switch the antenna. Here we go. Uh, you were actually louder before. Try the uh, other position. Okay, that's with the diamond. Now you're in S6. Over. This train. Jim, would you believe this train? Every time I start that camera, this train's got to come. <laughs> oh man, what a what a what a way to make a video. Uh, this is the diamond here in the same exact position on the roof. You went up to I think it was an S6 from an S4, and you said I'm a little bit better readable now, right? Oh yeah, you're much uh, you're much better readable, Eric. Uh, actually, I I have no problems with you, whereas with the uh, standard issue antenna, um, you were so far in the mud. Uh, there is a little QRM on this frequency, we're on 146.53, there is, believe it or not, there is uh, other activity on uh, this frequency, so uh, when you were on the standard issue, I was not able to, uh, I knew you were there and I could hear your carrier go on and off, but with this, I'm, uh, with the diamond antenna, I'm catching every word you say, go ahead. Okay, well the only hash on my end is from a power line. Uh, actually over here right behind me and in front of me there's a transformer and I have so much noise it's on VHF also and I am about 15 feet from the power lines right now on the roof so that's where my noise is coming up from but I know that you went from an S4 to an S6 and on your end you couldn't hear me hardly at all with the stock antenna but now you're saying I'm at least readable any signal increase at all uh, as far as the S units uh, actually no uh, you know I don't know what the calibration is on the ICOM the bar graph, but, um, you know, I'd have to judge it uh, in terms of what we used to call quieting. Uh, you know, when you uh, measured an FM repeater, uh, we refer to it as a percentage of quieting. And um, uh, I can honestly say that when you were on the stock antenna, I would judge it to be uh, maybe 20 to 30 percent quieting. Look how much difference that makes. And at this point, I'll rank you as uh, 50 to 60 percent uh, quieting. So if, in fact, it's a calibrated... Uh, if it's a calibrated uh, display, which it's not, uh, I would say it was an increase of at least uh, 3 dB, may maybe more. Go ahead. 
Okay, very good. And I tilted this about 45 degrees and the noise on my end went away and you went up to an S7 from an S6. I'm wondering if that made any difference on your end. Yes, it decreased the noise. At this point, <laughs> I put you uh, 70, uh, maybe maybe 75% quieting. Uh, yes, uh, as you tilted the antenna horizontally, uh, that's, uh, of course, I have a vertical antenna up about 40 feet in the air, and I would say that you and I are probably line of sight. Uh, I'm guessing 25 miles apart. Yeah, Do you think sorry. that's correct? That's what I said in the video, about 20 miles. So yeah, you're probably right, 25. I'm going to hold this position and go right back to the stock antenna. Stand by. Okay, we'll stand by. Can't move too much if you want to get an accurate test, right? Okay, W2JKD, KJ4YZI in the exact same position with the stock antenna. Yeah, it, uh, it dropped. Uh, if, if, in fact, uh, we use the same system of calibration, uh, you dropped from 65-70% uh, quieting to maybe 35-40% quieting. So, uh, uh, and uh, actually, I would have a little difficult time in discerning a lot of what you're saying. So, the, uh, there's a significant difference between the two antennas. Go ahead. Okay, stand by. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back on here so he doesn't have to struggle to hear me through the hash. But it's actually making a difference and that's what I wanted to see. But not only with the flexibility where you could bend this thing, but actually a signal uh, difference. All right, Jim, this is cool. I, uh, I never made a video on the roof before, held, holding my handheld at a 45 degree angle, but the consensus says this is an improvement, yes? Absolutely, yeah, no question. It's, uh, uh, it would be fair to say that uh, there's an increase of uh, what appears to be like double the signal strength. Uh, significant difference. The little icon does have the benefit of, uh, of having a record chip in it uh, so I could re record your conversations, but unfortunately ICOM doesn't uh, have a way to play those back. I could uh, email them to you, I guess, if you'd like. Well, that'd be even better for the video if you had that option, but I won't, I won't make you do that. You do enough. Uh, before we part here, could you give me on the diamond antenna a, a uh, farewell for the video, uh, JKD style, over? <laughs> sure, sure. I'd be, uh, I'd be happy to for all of your uh, viewers worldwide. You have been viewing an authentic video provided by Ham Radio Concepts and hosted by the one, the only, KJ4YZX. On behalf of Eric and the entire team at Ham Radio Concepts, we say thank you for watching and 73. That's 50 years of broadcasting right there. Thanks, Jim. That was awesome. 73. I'm going to jump down on the roof. My neighbor thinks I'm a wacko. Over. <laughs> Your neighbor doesn't need to think that, Eric. Uh, we who know you know you're a wacko. <laughs> 73 is Mr. Wacko. Talk to you soon. W2 JKD clear. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. 7-3. And uh, if you're interested, uh, the first video, I didn't announce this, but uh, Gigaparts does actually have the antenna now. Some of them are still on back order from a lot of uh, interest. But if you use the code HRC770, they'll give you a few bucks discount because you watched it here on this video. I want to thank Gigaparts for helping out all my followers. That really makes a good deal. Uh, if you're interested in this antenna right here for hiking, APRS, just better range out of your house on D-Star or Fusion or DMR, go to gigaparts.com, HRC770. I really appreciate that from them. And you watching, so 73, KJ4, YZI.